Um, Madeleine, do you want to take over? Yes, sure. Welcome, everybody. Um, as you know, elections may take place every four to five years, but democracy is every day. Therefore, Follow the Vote provides you with your daily dose of democracy. Follow the Vote is a project from the nonprofit Political Innovations Association, which is an independent and nonpartisan organization. Let me briefly guide you through today's agenda. We start by presenting our team and values. Next, we will, we will explain the MVP that we have built during the Unlock program for the federal German elections of 2021. And then it is showtime. We will show you our actual product for the elections. Further, we will discuss how our tool helps young citizens after the election and give you the opportunity to try our latest version. Let's start with our Unlock team. Maren and Frank are our business experts, leading the strategic decision-making processes, planning and building nonprofit a sustainable nonprofit while working creatively on designing the front end of the app and our PowerPoint presentations, because of course that is what business students do, right? Then there's Elena and I, the heads of the political content team. We are two political science students with different professional experiences and complementary fields of interest. May it be European studies, international relations or legal studies, we have been through it quite successfully, even in times of a pandemic. The fifth team member you can see here is Levi. He is building alliances for democracy, upholding relationships and taking care that everyone knows about what we do and why we do it every day. He is our communications and PR genius with a lot of experience. All these competencies and our team spirit were explored, improved and deepened throughout the last three months, working intensively within the accelerator program of Wikimedia. However, behind Follow the Road are many more dedicated volunteers than just us five here. Let me present to you the Follow the Road family. A group of engaged students and early professionals that strive for political inclusion, free education and open code and open knowledge. We are lucky to have future teachers, political scientists, journalists and of course app developers on board. So what do all these individuals have in common? Why do they put their free time into Follow the Vote? Because we are working to combat the political disengagement of young citizens and we believe that the only way to do this is to bring politics to the 21st century by building an independent, transparent and innovative digital space for young citizens. And therefore, we embarked on a mission in January 21 to create a web application that helps young citizens to engage with politics in an easy, factual and fun way. So during the Unlock program, we have made an application for young citizens to prepare for the federal elections of 2021. So how? There are three components, the government, voters, and an algorithm. Our political team dug into the archives of the parliament to trace back to most important laws that were discussed in the last four years. We transformed these laws into a staple. For instance, Germany should pay more money to defense. The voter decides what their opinion is. Now, algorithm compares the opinions of the party to the opinions of the user. Lastly, the voter receives a score to see how much they align with each of the political parties. What makes this tool so special is that in our app, the position of the political party is determined by their vote in the parliament and not on the party programs as other tools. So to summarize, we looked at four years of legislation and over 200 debates to eventually make 48 statements to determine where you politically stand. And on the 5th of August, we finally launched on the vote. So now please dim your lights, take a firm hold of your chair because it is showtime. So on the main screen, um, you can choose a statement. They read it, and this one is coincidentally about the NATO, which I introduced earlier with the defense um, example. 
We provide background information about the topic so that the user better understands the political tensions. And to form an opinion, we provide six arguments that the user can either agree or disagree with. These arguments are summaries of the standpoints that the political parties uh, gave in the, uh, in the parliament. This helps the user to form an opinion and is used by the algorithm to determine the alignments to each of the political parties. With all this information, the user is now able to make a well-informed decision. And afterwards, they can see what the political parties actually voted in the parliament. All of this information is combined in the political profile. Here, the user is able to see which party has the highest alignment. So, over the last seven weeks, we didn't only build an app, we also did a lot of marketing to make sure people know of our app. We made our own follow the vote beer posters, and it found a home in dozens of us in Berlin and other cities in Germany. In addition, we had radio interviews and news articles, and as the cherry on the cake, we got a free advertisement in the Frankfurt Allgemeine, a very prominent newspaper in Germany. Besides our offline activities, we did online marketing to reach young citizens where they spend most of their time online. And we created our own Instagram account, which now has around 700 followers. And we use this channel to reach influencers that have helped us to reach even more people. So did all of this work? Well, in the seven weeks from the launch until the election, we have been able to reach more than 24,000 downloads. This has been a huge confirmation for the team and gives us the opportunity to think about the future. Exactly. So now let's look at what we want to do with these 24,000 users in the future. We have made a tool for the election. But we believe that this solution does not tackle the core of the problem, namely that many young people do not know what's going on in politics. And that is why we want to make political education part of our users' daily lives. You might say, well, politics is already omnipresent and information is very accessible. But we say there are three worrying trends. Firstly, more than 70% of citizens under 30 use social media to inform themselves about politics. This means they are often exposed to low quality information. And secondly, our digital reality has become a space where we confirm instead of challenge our beliefs. And thirdly, we have become passive consumers of information. We often adopt opinions without taking the time to reflect them. And our application tackles these trends. The users receive high quality information every day. They then have the chance to form their own opinion by actively engaging with the given information. And finally, we leverage the power of technology by storing and analyzing the decisions our users make. If they reconsider their opinion, our app updates their political profile. Let's move from theory to practice and look how this works in the app. So let's start with follow the legislation. With this feature, we make the day-to-day -day business of politicians transparent and inform our users how the parties voted on the most recent legislation. The second pillar is follow the news. It's like reading the latest headline in the newspaper, but instead of passively consuming the news, we ask our users how they would vote on the political measure that is discussed. And as a special third feature, we follow petitions. With this, we take our user engagement one step further. Because you don't just form an opinion, you can actually do something with it. If you share the concern of the petitioner, you can use your voice and sign the petition. And last but not least, our users can follow their own progress. All decisions are stored in the political profile so that we empower our users to find their political identity. And now we invite all of you to actually get your phones out and to follow the boat, because what we have shown you here is uh, up and running. So this QR code brings you directly to our web version of the application and just try it yourself. So
So um, I hope everyone has, has their phone out, um, have their phone out already. Um, this was the presentation that we prepared for you. I hope you um, enjoyed it.